Hey fellow photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Zelbel. Today I have got a really quick and good tip for you for post-production. Post-production of your glamour photos in Adobe Lightroom. Yeah, you don't hear me talking about uh, post-production so much because you might already know I'm not this uh, Photoshop kind of guy, but I'm really in love with uh, Adobe Lightroom because that tool, tool enables me to get stuff done fast, really fast, and uh, that's what I want. And I get a lot of questions regarding our post-production over here in the comments, and I tried to summarize all the questions, or, uh, well, maybe I just <laughs> wanted to ask the question that is most interesting for myself. And the question is, you know, if a real professional photographer, if a photography pro got like 30 seconds to improve his glamour photo in Lightroom, what would he do? You know, what is the one thing that he would do? And I certainly cannot answer the question because I'm not a pro, but I gave this question to a real seasoned uh, professional and successful photographer who is our guest today. I'm talking about Phil Steele from steeltraining.com. Hi, Phil. Thanks, Michael. Now I'm going to show you one of my favorite Lightroom tricks that I use all the time when I'm doing beauty or glamour or fashion kind of photography, especially when I'm working with speed lights because with speed lights you often have to get the lights very close to your subject and when the lights are close to your subject you get an uneven fall off yeah, of light yeah, across yeah. your subject and this photo is a classic example my lights kind of over here on the middle left and because of that it's shining very bright on her shirt brighter than I would like it to be especially down here on kind of the lower left part of her shirt I want this photo to be about her face and not about her clothing so what I would like to do is adjust the exposure of this part of the shot down here and since light falls off in a gradient what I want to use is Lightroom's graduated filter tool which allows me to do these kind of gradient corrections. So that's this little tool right here on the toolbar. And I'm going to click to open it. And I'm going to make sure the exposure is just brought down a bit. And then I'm going to drag in a gradient from the bottom where the light is too hot. And I'm just going to darken the exposure along the same gradient that the light is naturally falling off and correct for it. And fortunately with Lightroom you can adjust these after the fact. So now that I've laid it in there I can make it brighter or darker. You know, if I wanted it really dark I could go way down or if, you know, if I want to lighten it up a bit I can bring it up. And I just dial it into the point where I think it looks good. Maybe about like that. And then I close the tool and the adjustment's done. It literally just took a few seconds to correct this problem. So let's take a look at one more. So now we're looking at a case where I'm shooting with a flash on the camera and I'm shooting a performer who's standing on a stage above me and because of her position higher than me my flash is lighting her too bright down at the bottom. Her, her legs and boots and feet are too bright and the light falls off up toward her face and also from the left side because I'm standing on this side of her it's too bright over here on the left side. So I'm going to use the same tool. I'm going to use this graduated filter tool here and going to drag in a couple of gradients to correct that. And I've got the exposure brought down a little so I'm going to drag one in from the bottom first to take the edge off that and kind of tone it down going up her body that way and I'll hit enter to accept it. And I'm going to drag one in from the left also to tone down this bright spot over here on the side and even things out. I'll hit enter for that. I'll close the tool to get rid of those little pins. And there, that looks much more balanced and it's not obvious that this was lit with on-camera flash anymore. So you can see how easy this is. I use this trick all the time when I'm correcting photos that were done with lights, with on-camera speed lights or off-camera speed lights. And if you're interested in this sort of thing and more Lightroom tricks like this, I have an entire course called Lightroom Made Easy on my website at steeltraining.com where I teach you all my Lightroom tricks basically from the ground up. So if you're interested, I invite you to check that out and maybe Michael will put a link to this somewhere yeah, near yeah, the video <laughs> for you. And I hope you have found this helpful and I look forward to talking to you soon. Oh, thank you so much, Phil. Thank you so much. Um, I, for sure, myself, I will try that out and uh, I for sure will use it on my photos and, and, and improve them. And uh, I'm also using uh, a lot of other tricks that Phil is teaching in his tutorials because I'm loving his tutorials. And uh, I have all of them and they are really great. I will also put a link to uh, his website. Uh, below this video over there you can find uh, yeah, a lot of free training stuff which is all worth watching it I, I highly encourage you to go there and also to his other tutorials and it will be a partner affiliate link so if you happen to take advantage of his uh, great video courses then a part of the proceeds is going to smoking strobes helping me to make more videos for you alrighty that's it for today I hope I see you back next time and uh, until then I wish you a lot of fun with your photo shoots really good edits afterwards and I wish you good Good light.